Hey friends, today I'm gonna walk you through how to make our sailboat seahorse kit. Um, you wanna make sure you have something that you're gonna cover your work space with, your work area. Look through everything that's in your kit, get familiar with it, you're gonna set it all aside. We're gonna start with our paints. I like to go ahead and squeeze all of my paints onto a plate. Just snip the corner of the pouch, squeeze the rest of the paint out of the pouch onto the plate, and then you're ready to get started. Make sure you have your both brushes nearby. Something else you're gonna need is like a cup or jar of water and a few napkins. And then a hair dryer is really helpful, but not necessary. Start with your largest brush. I normally don't start with water, but this I want the paint to look a little thinner and lighter. So I'm gonna get just a touch of water on my brush and start with the light blue. I'm gonna cover your entire canvas. Get the edges all around, top, bottom, Get a good nice thin coat if you need a little more water you can thin it out if you want yours to be darker don't thin it out once you get a good nice coat of that light blue i'm going to go ahead and just dab a little bit of green into the water i'm going to add the dark blue at the bottom because the deeper water is a deeper color blue work your way up i'm gonna lighter blue if you want to add more green it's your picture you make it however you want I'm gonna lighten the top quite a bit just to make it look like the surface of the water with a little white. Just till you're happy with your colors, then hit it with a hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, just set it aside to dry. Once you have it nice and dry, I'm gonna paint some seaweed down in the corner. However many seaweed strokes you want, you can do a lot, you can do a little. Once you're happy with your seaweed, you're gonna hit it with a dryer one more time. I'm gonna set this aside, grab your wooden shapes, I'm gonna rinse your brush out. Just like to wipe off the extra water. All right, for the seahorse and the sailboat. The seahorse, I just wanna give it a quick coat of some paint. We're going to glue lots of stuff on top of it, but just in case something shows through, you can do it any color you want. I'm going to make mine teal, so I'm going to mix the green and the light blue. This way, once we glue on all the glass and rocks and stuff, if anything shows through, we won't see the wood color. We'll see the teal. So for the sailboat, I'm gonna do this really dark blue at the bottom. So I'm not gonna wash my brush because I'm moving to a darker color. I'm just gonna try to keep the dark just to the very bottom. Again, use whatever color you want. I'm gonna give my brush a quick wash and wipe it off because I wanna do the sails white. When you're happy with your coat of paint, go ahead and hit it with the hair dryer again real quick. All right, I'm gonna take your glue. I am going to cover the seahorse and the sails. But first I want to take a look. I like to dump everything out in the mixed bag. The bag on the left, that's completely only one glass. I'm gonna keep that separate. Go ahead, separate out your shells, the larger rocks, just the larger items. I'm gonna keep the rest of the mix the same. I like to do a good application of glue and I think your finger is the best thing to spread it out with. You want a nice even coat of glue. This way everything sticks evenly and covers the whole seahorse. 
It's up to you if you just wanna do a complete mix of all the goodies. I'm gonna pick out something separate for the eye, maybe do a little bit on the back fins and then cover it. But again, up to you. You can strategically place things on the whole seahorse. good to make it nice and thick and chunky. You just want to make sure you have everything covered. You want to make sure as you go, pat it down into the glue. That'll just really help it all stick. We'll kind of shake it off after. I'm going to let the glue dry a little bit. Cover your sails from your boat. This is what we're going to use the separate bag of crushed glass for. Sprinkle it on, pour it on, make it nice and thick, cover all your glue areas, give it a press down. You can see I kind of um, covered the little opening, so I'm just gonna take the back of the paintbrush to open that back up. Dump off any excess. I'm just gonna push the extra stuff to the side so I don't blow it everywhere. Hit it with a hair dryer. It's not gonna dry completely, but it'll definitely help give it a blast of heat to just secure it a little better. Now we're ready to start gluing onto the canvas. Place your things out the where you want them. Just get like a plan so you know. I like the sailboat sticking up off the top of the canvas a little bit. We're gonna use the white rocks to make it look like the whitewash of a wave. Then you can put some glue under your seahorse. I'm gonna use these shells, a few little rocks at the bottom to kind of give a base to our seaweed. And our sea floor. Now I just kind of want to add a couple sparkly stripes through my seaweed. So you can just give a few however many you want. I'm just gonna sprinkle this right into the glue lines. Just press it right into the glue. You just need a little bit of it to stick. We don't want them super thick. If you got too much glue, you can wipe it off. I'm just trying to pick up just the kind of smallest little pieces. Press them in there. Once you feel you've pressed them down a good bit, you can lift it forward. You don't wanna tap it or shake it off really hard. I just have the dryer on low just to give it a little heat while I'm filling in any areas I see. So give it a gentle shake. Again, don't tap it really hard. Your glue still needs time to dry. But there we have it, our sailboat and seahorse kit.